from as early as I could stand on a chair to see over the counter. I was in the kitchen with my parents baking. I love dessert. I love cupcakes. They're nostalgic little bites that bring you back to your childhood. My name is Melissa Beneshai and I am a co-founder of Baked by Melissa. I was fired from my job in advertising. The day I was fired, I went to my brother's office crying. He said, don't worry, it's the best thing that ever happened to you. Go home, bake your cupcakes, we'll start a business out of it. Before we even started Baked by Melissa, if it was your birthday and I loved you, I baked you cupcakes and I love a ton of people. So I was constantly baking. The response was phenomenal. People thought they were delicious and they looked beautiful too. When we first started the company, I was doing all of the baking out of my tiny New York City apartment. I was baking, I was boxing, and then I was delivering by foot to bring the cupcakes to everybody. Now we have our own kitchen and an entire team of unbelievable people working towards the same goal. We have 14 locations, a gluten-free store, we ship our product nationwide, we sell macarons, and it's just the beginning. Our approach with Baked by Melissa is to give the ultimate dessert experience. We're constantly working towards improving in every area of the company and working to make sure that when people experience Baked by Melissa, that they can really feel the love and the passion that we have for what we do. One of my absolute favorite things to do is just walk around the streets of Manhattan and I could draw my inspiration and my creative process from everywhere. I, the farmer's market, there are so many different colors and ingredients and new creations that I just take in. Dessert makes me happy, it makes a lot of people happy and I love to share that. But I'm not the only one out there baking cupcakes and I have to continue to innovate and challenge myself in order to make sure that we have the best product. There are a ton of things that we haven't done that I can't wait to do next. And I guess you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs>